everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. In today's game, a very good defense will be on the field. The Jags are top 10 and fewest points allowed. And they'll be up against the Raiders' offense that wants to hang a big number on them. Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL. The National Football League is here and on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Oakland Raiders and the Jacksonville Jaguars. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. This is Leonard Fournette. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Looking to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45-yard line. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. So here we go, first and 10 now. A handoff to Fournette. Fournette fighting through. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. down he'll drop to throw it that one complete to D.D. Westbrook and he is out of bounds inside the 35 back to back nice plays 12 yards that time and a first down now a play fake here on first down that is caught inside the five. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They've got that momentum going. A touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. We're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. That's fielded in the end zone. He's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Okay, let's just make this one simple. We know that the running game is not their thing, but they can't just throw it on every single down without expecting some real heat from the pass rush. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Now the pressure. 
Here comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. This is a nice little stretch he's putting together. Remember, three sacks last week. And now he's off to the races in this game because he thinks, okay, that's the start of something big because he's in a zone. He's locked in. So offensively, you've got to occupy him. Maybe even run the ball at him as opposed to passing it so he can't just pin his ears back and rush the quarterback. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. We're, we're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, yeah. so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Detroit! Detroit! Now let's go! On second down, here's Fournette. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. They'll look to throw here. Wide open receiver complete. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. The ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Give him eight on the play, and it'll make it second down. Right Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Westbrook over the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. to throw. He'll set up the screen to Fournette and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. 
he wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get into that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. That'll be taken in the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit jumpy. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And not have that opportunity. To... <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Second down following the run. Hey, hey, right. Watch Let's go. One, nine, ten. He'll look to throw. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not forced that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. On the right side, Reed. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll drop the throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it a second down. On, let's go. One, They'll run it now, out of the gun. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Let's go! He'll drop to throw. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Here's the Raiders punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. Back to throw here. And he will find his man on the outside. Touchdown, Jaguars! A big play there. 79 yards. 
And the Jaguars add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So out come the Raiders. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now, not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you've got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. They'll look to throw here on first down, and this is going to be incomplete. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Out to the left here to Reed. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. They'll come up on a third and four here to start things out. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally, you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally, I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says, Big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Then he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys. Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Over the middle, it's complete. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Here we go. Ahead. Now back to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, 
it was time to make a break for it. The Raiders on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. They'll set up a throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second in about a yard. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. group and we just saw it there on that play it came in made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in and the seemingly endless drive continues he'll try again with the arm here on second down and they're not able to hook up there incomplete I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. They're going to look to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. He'll look to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. He was superb a week ago. Three sacks in that affair. Now one here in the second quarter. Well, how about our conversations this week? With him, it was pretty simple. He said, ah, I've got a few combinations I can try it out they haven't seen yet. And on the flip side, I thought they had a plan to block him. Might need to come up with something else. Because and the pressure gets to him again. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down. Went backwards. It's third and very long. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A short gain there of just four. That'll bring up a fourth down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be a second down. And that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. They'll look to throw. 
flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards at a first. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Cornette, a first down carry. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. You got a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Looking to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They keep it with Fournette on first down. Down to the 25. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and 15. They'll set up to throw. A throw left side complete to his receiver, Westbrook. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And Myers able to knock it through. A first update now from Cincinnati. And the Bengals out to the early advantage. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. That's fielded in the end zone. And look out, a big hit to the shoulder pads. Took him right off his feet at the 16. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over. The ball comes out, and the Jags grab it. Oftentimes, you say some guys have a knack for creating turnovers. He forced a fumble last week, forces another one. And one of my good coaching buddies, Frank Delano, always told me, hey, Davis, Creating turnovers, it's not as much about skill as it is about desire. Oh, I thought it was going to be will, because will rhyme with skill. Come on. A little bit desire. We'll go with desire. We'll the rhyme master now. Fournette on the counter. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now Leonard Fournette, and they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. 
And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a bat. A handoff, Fournette running left, spinning past him. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Myers able to knock it through. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top as we send you downstate to Orlando to check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out comes the rate. Offense, they'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better than that. We'll find out. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And on second and ten now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and it's third down. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. <laughs> Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Yannick Ngakwe in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. 
And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, yeah. we, got we, got we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. continue to roll in order to lead in a game you're gonna get plenty of contributors but that's his second touchdown catch of this game he's one of the key guys in this one and you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go here's Myers now to kick it away That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And now Oakland ready to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. to throw now on second and ten. Throw left side complete. It's Reed. And he'll be knocked down sideways right near the 39. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Let's go! Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Yannick Ngakwe in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, third down here. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to go for a big play. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. Shift together here from the D-line. 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Forced out to his left. And that's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target, and it's third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. They're looking at a third and goal here. They'll look to throw here. Buying time to his left. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. shotgun he'll look to throw and that's gonna be caught for a Raider touchdown Philip Dorsett his fifth touchdown now on the year and the Raiders able to get this back to within at least some measure here of respectability so they get one score back but still a long ways to go here in this third quarter the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And last time out, another touchdown, and I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided, but you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me, trying to get to the airport. That's the roads to be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Back to throw. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Call it a gain of three. And that's going to bring up a third down. Well, still in search of the first down after that last completion. He'll look to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot, but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Oh, he's got some space. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might want to just... Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Jags grab it. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. 
So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. And you talk about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. Elsewhere, a third quarter score. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way. Because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Brought down at the 32. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. They'll drop the throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Now the offense lining up first and 10. He'll drop to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars getting set to go. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. Fresh set of downs here. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow him down. Uh, here Detroit! Detroit! Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Two yards gets him back to where they started, but now third and ten. The Jaguars on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Back to throw here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack. He's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 20. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if somebody got, they've got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Steps away to his left. Throw across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 47. 20, 10, and they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a gain of five, and they're going to have a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again, just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. Smith. And now the ball's out. Fumbled near midfield. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> Better give this time to the tailback. 
And he's brought down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see. Second and nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and six. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. On the NFL scoreboard, they've gone to the fourth in Cincinnati. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And if they could hold on to that lead, it would be win number four on the season for them. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Now a handoff here to his running back. They find some open field here. And he's finally taken down, but not before he reaches the 14. It's a big play there for Oakland. 75 yards. The give to the fullback on the dive. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Let's go! Hey. His pass caught at the four. And I think the ball's out. And will they call it a touchback? No, it's out at the one-yard line. They were inches there from blowing a golden scoring opportunity. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. And that touchdown, well, it barely puts a dent in this lead. And unfortunately, I'm having too many flashbacks right now. I remember getting beat down like this playing before. Oh, yeah, college, high school? College, not a heck of a lot of fun. I still remember playing and trying to tackle an elusive tailback who ended up scoring four touchdowns, 226 yards. He scored so many times and had so many great runs. I knew every note to their school's fight song. I bet that ice bath felt extra cold afterwards. Too, oh, yeah. oh, oh, no, there was no ice bath. You're just trying to get out of there before the reporters got to you. Now, that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get into that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Now a handoff as they run left side. Finding room inside the 40. And he's brought down. 
Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. Thank you. Oh. Cool. Cool. 